The race to save Asian elephants has led to some monkey business at Smithsonian's National Zoo in Washington. Conservationists are trying to breed the elephants there under human care. Fewer than 50,000 of them are left in the wild. CBS 4's Chip Reed introduces us to Spike, a 36-year-old 7-ton Casanova, and his paramour, Ronnie. Spike recently moved to Washington from Florida, and we were there as he was released from quarantine so he could meet three females he'd been admiring from the other side of the fence. There was some trumpeting and some ear flapping, another sign of happiness. But with one, Maharani, Rani for short, there was some canoodling. You can see they look like they're hitting it off. <laughs> They do appear to be hitting it off. I'm no expert in elephant love, but that <laughs> looks like something going on yeah. there. In fact, this is not their first meeting, and as they say, elephants never forget. Spike and Ronnie were an item at a zoo in Canada in 2014. Ronnie became pregnant three times, but sadly, none of the baby elephants lived past infancy. Now the National Zoo hopes they'll have better luck. So so how is this going so far? It's going excellent. Uh, we really couldn't be happier. Uh, these guys have a great social history with one another. It's exactly what they had hoped for. We brought Spike here hoping that he and Maharani would uh, breed and produce uh, offspring. So the first step we can check off now they have bred uh, and uh, we'll probably continue to throughout the next day or so and then we'll have to see what comes of that. We'll test uh, in a few months to see if she's pregnant and then uh, begin planning in earnest for a baby at that point if she is. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington.